Hey there and welcome to Yosemite Line. Today just getting started on your Yoroi pilot. Haven't finished painting your Yoroi, it's about time your Yoroi had its pilot. Here's the pilot's components then. Uh, we've got the body, uh, we have the right arm here which is uh, holding a katana but as you can see it's quite a lot of flash. I'll give you a close up to show all the flash and all the flash removal. A left arm here holding the scabbard for the katana and a wakazashi. Um, if you didn't know, samurai and the Oyori is meant to be like the samurai if you like the heavily armoured samurai of the JSA, whether that's the one time Yuching Japanese sectorial army or the now Japanese secessionist army and in historical Japan um, only the samurai could wear the two swords, the wakazashi and katana and this is what made them stand out in public. Anybody else carrying the long sword as well as the short sword who was not a samurai could I think be put to death. Um, so although originally all bushi, bushi being warrior um, or soldier, I think it just means warrior bushi, hence bushi do the warrior's way, do being the way of doing something or being something and bushi being warrior. And so here we find our Oyori pilot with both swords because she is of the samurai class. And samurai actually means servant of the emperor. And so to be samurai is to serve. First up then the main body. Um, if you are using the um, slaughter base, uh, you can see there's a whole lot of uh, stuff down here. Uh, this is one of the few moulds I've seen where there's a bit of flash just in here. Other than that, there's an injection point uh, on the toe here, and there's an injection point around on the back side of the hip. Now, I believe this is because these are now an aging mold. Um, I believe the Oyori Pilot was originally an N2 model. And uh, if you look at the sculpt, um, it's easier to look at the painted versions, i.e., uh, this. If you look at this painted version and you look at um, one of the more recent models, you can really see the difference. This is a lot softer. Um, it hasn't got quite the cleanness and the uh, level of, uh, I suppose, perfection in the detail might be the right word. Uh, it hasn't got the sort of crispness. Um, it looks a little bit more like a hand sculpt, although I still think this is CG um, or CAD rendered first. But if you look at the new models, they're super clean, super fancy, um, kind of very, very well made. Um, but I still quite like these a lot. I don't have any problem with them. I mean, the only thing that I think really differentiates this one is the head, where the face and the size of the hair, if that makes any sense, uh, slightly anime proportions, whereas the more recent ones have been much more realistic proportions. And this one, we've got the injection point here. I think this is it might be another injection point. Uh, these need trimming off, and then we've got various um, escape channels for the um, the air channels, which facilitate the injection process, so that the metal can actually travel through the mold and some of it comes out. But these are very easy to break. But we can see this one's virtually come off by itself already. So again, not much cleanup. Uh, there aren't any mold lines at all. This is the left arm holding the scabbard. It's got the escape point here, that'll need trimming, and it has the injection point here, that needs trimming. Other than that, there's not really much. There's a couple of bits up here and a bit here which needs cleaning up. But again, no mold lines or anything like that. So despite being an aging mold, well, there's a bit of flash here as well actually. And that's actual flash, again, despite being an aging mold, it's mostly very good. And you can see this is how flash occurs, it's where the mould meets and the metal escapes in so it forms like this fringe. But I, I'm not really worried about it, um, like I say it's now an ageing mini as far as coarse belly is concerned I think. Or certainly the mould is, they, they've probably got a master so they, could, so they could recast it if they wished to. But I believe they seem to be following a policy of rather than recasting old things, update and bring them in line with the M3 model range. So hopefully that will happen for the Oyori pilot. Finally then, the last component is the Wakazashi. Again, it's got the injection point. I think that might be injection point, it might be an escape point as well, I'm not sure. 
But again, it's just those three and then just the tip on the end of the sword. And I've been finding with a lot of these swords, they're so minute that often it's just a bit of guesswork. And as long as you cut it clean, it looks absolutely fine. So next, I will clean all these up and I'll just show you all the components together cleaned up. Catch you in a mo. Okay, so now you can see I actually have two of your right pilots, which is fine. Um, because I suddenly remembered that I've already received the the Japanese Sectorial Army box set. So there'll be a review of that coming very soon, which I've just done because I wanted to hoik out the Oyori pilot that I got for free with that for pre-ordering it. Because I figured, paint them both at the same time. So these are now going to be the Oyori twins. Uh, one will be red, one will be white. And I'll change the posturing in their arms a little bit just so there's a bit of variety. And this is the one thing I noticed as well is that in the scabbard on this one on the left here, there's actually a bit of malforming in the um, the moulding process where it's only partially formed the bottom half of the scabbard here. Uh, and I got confirmation by looking at the new one uh, where it, that malforming isn't there. Uh, interestingly, with the new one, I have cleaned it up already. Similar problems, but there was a little bit more flash on this one than there was on the previous on the other one, which goes to show that as the molds age, you start getting more and more flash, and I think that's just inevitable. Uh, hopefully, though, they will be redoing these soon. Um, the other thing I thought is, if I'm going to use these as the twins, the one that doesn't currently have its own euro, although it might encourage me to buy another one. Um, but we shall see because I haven't really seen any viable list using two or euro yet. Um, tags are great, I love them to pieces, but they're not. Um, they're not the way to optimize your army functioning. So I might just use the other one as a Musashi proxy because I don't have Musashi at the moment, and I quite like the idea of why not have a female Musashi. So either way, I'll get these assembled uh, in the two different postures and get them ready for painting. We have then two laser assembled. And point of worth noting is that the arms have square sockets, which makes for a solid gluing point, but it makes it hard to position the arms in uh, sort of varied, interesting ways. So the poses I've done here are kind of the best fit. The one on the right. So this lady here. Yeah, this is done in exactly the same way as the sort of miniatures meant to be done, if that makes any sense. Um, as in the way it's pictured on the cover, and also the way the joints looks like they're meant to fit. This lady on the left, however, might have rotated the joints to the best of my ability so that you get an alternative pose. They've also flipped the uh, wakazashi, even though traditionally they'd always be on the left, uh, because the right is a um, is a fast draw position. Uh, if you didn't know, samurai swords are actually worn with the blade edge pointing upwards, not because it was practical. Um, so you'd have the two blades, and they're both be worn on the left with the blade pointing upwards. And this was because it was the slowest way to draw your blade. Um, the fast draws come from across the back, uh, the blade pointing down. Um, because if the blade is pointing up, you have to draw and you have to arc up and over before you cut. Whereas if the blade is pointing down or sideways, you can pretty much cut on the draw. So it's again, it's a way of um, making it harder to utilize the blade. So I think the, the lady on the left of the, the twins here is going to be my Miyamoto Musashi proxy because she has clearly got her blades configured for fighting, whereas the one on the right is the Oyuro pilot, the, the honourable armoured samurai, I think. That's going to be how it goes. So the one on the right will go red with white details, and the one on the left will go white with red details in terms of the clothing and everything. So I hope this has been of some interest use to you. Um, it's been pretty easy to get these guys assembled. So next step will be painting. Cheers everybody, have a good and take care. Bye bye.